real-life macabre that influenced American Horror Story, James March. American Horror Story's twisted character, James March, was inspired by the hotelier, who is often regarded as the first serial killer in America. A G.H. Holmes, Holmes constructed a murder hotel, perfectly crafted as the ultimate house of horrors, complete with trap doors and in rooms, chutes leading down to the basement, and purposefully disorienting hallways. Some of the rooms were even equipped to turn into gas chambers on command with their tight doors that couldn't open from the inside. Holmes claimed as many as 200 lives, though he only confessed to 28. Voodoo Queen Marie Lavo Angela Bassett's mysterious ancient voodoo queen was based on a real person renowned in New Orleans history. Marie Lavo was a hairdresser in the French Quarter between the 1820s and 1860s, but she also practiced black magic. Lovo was said to mix elements of Catholicism with voodoo and was known as a nurse and a healer. Today, people still visit her grave and draw three X's on the side of it, hoping the voodoo priestess will grant them wishes. Countess Elizabeth Bathory Lady Gaga portrayed Countess Elizabeth Bathory, who is truly terrifying both on the series and in real life. Elizabeth Bathory currently holds a Guinness World Record for most prolific serial killer and was a true living nightmare. In the 1600s, she became a Transylvanian countess and convinced her husband to build her a torture chamber in their castle. Her victims of choice were young virginal girls, who she tortured for hours by driving pins through their lips and fingernails and forcing them to cook and eat their own flesh, among other horrors. She then bathed in their blood to retain their youthful beauty. Eventually, Bathory was found guilty of over 80 counts of murder and was supposed to be executed. Instead, she was imprisoned in a room alone for the rest of her life. Mina Silveri is Elizabeth Short. Mina Silveri only nabbed a small role in season one of American Horror Story, but it was a historically juicy one. She played the victim of one of the most famous unsolved homicides in American history, the Black Dahlia murder. In real life, Elizabeth Short was a 22-year-old actress who was found brutally murdered in 1947. Her body was chopped in half, but the defining mark of her murder was a smile carved across her face, also known as a Glasgow smile. The case was never solved, and it was definitely front-page news. Kathy Bates' role as Madame LaLaurie was an actual real-life socialite turned murderer in American Horror Story Coven. Kathy Bates' twisted character Madame LaLaurie terrorized the witches in Coven. In real life, she allegedly was just as violent, so much so that she was investigated for cruelty to slaves in 1828. Since rules were rather lax back then, how bad must it have been for her to get investigated? It turns out, the stuff she did was pretty darn horrific. LaLaurie attempted to turn a woman into a human caterpillar and would regularly cut out her slaves' intestines and wrap them around their bodies like belts. She also made them eat animal waste. Just a quick side step from the Madame LaLaurie and Coven who made soup from human waste. The Hotel Cortis from American Horror Stories is based on the real-life Cecil Hotel. The real-life Cecil Hotel, which is now the stay on Main Hotel, in Los Angeles has been the site of a number of horrific occurrences. The hotel housed two serial killers at separate times. Richard Romier is known as the Night Stalker, who killed at least 13 people, and Johan Hunter Weyer, who claimed several victims while living at the Cecil. The Cecil also was the setting of the mysterious and highly publicized death of Alice Salam, who was found in the hotel's water tank after guests noticed low water pressure and a funny taste in the hotel's tap water. The hotel also shares a number of similarities with H.H. Holmes' infamous murder castle, a hotel he had custom-built to make his bloodthirsty hobbies more convenient. Roanoke's killer nurses in American Horror Story Season 6 were based on the lethal lovers, Miranda and Bridget, the two nurses who opened an assisted living facility in Shelby and Matt's season six farmhouse, were absolutely twisted. They were also totally real. The two characters were based on Gwen Graham and Kathy Wood, a pair known as the Lethal Lovers. The couple worked at a nursing home in Michigan during the late 1980s and started killing elderly people based on the initials in their name. The goal was to spell out murder. Eventually it turned into an all-out murder spree with no rules of rhyme. And when the pair were finally caught, they turned on each other in hopes to achieve lenient prison sentences. Briarcliff is modeled after the real-life Willow Brook State School. Briarcliff seems like a far too horrible place to be based in any sort of reality, but the story of Staten Island's Willow Brook State School is the stuff of real nightmares. The institution housed thousands of patients over the years, often well over capacity, providing horrific living conditions for the mentally challenged patients. 
people were abused by the terrifying staff. Awful medical experiments were performed on patients, and patients regularly died from neglect and starvation. There were no evil nuns, but until Haroldo Rivera did a news report in 1972 that effectively got the institution shut down, there was basically no god who was of any help to the poor victims stuck there. Edward Mordrake. Edward Mordrake is based on an urban legend and was portrayed by Wes Bentley in American Horror Story. According to the 19th century English-born urban legend, Mordrake had two faces, a normal face and a face coming out of the back of his head that whispered evil things. His second face allegedly forced his normal face to commit heinous crimes. Mordrake killed himself at the age of 23, possibly after his second face drove him insane. The Vanishing Rona Colony is America's oldest unsolved mystery. American Horror Story Roanoke was based on a real-life colony that is one of America's oldest unsolved mysteries. In 1587, a colony of 115 people settled off the coast of North Carolina on Roanoke Island. After an attack by the Spanish Armada, founder John White sailed back to England to gather essential supplies for the colony. He returned three years later and found the entire colony had vanished without a trace. The only thing left behind was the word croton carved into a tree. This word has appeared at numerous sites where people have mysteriously disappeared throughout history. Potential theories behind their disappearance include cannibalism, infectious disease, murder, and assimilation into a nearby native tribe. 